I'm Nicola Chatham and welcome to this week's episode where we are going to be talking about a highly, highly interesting topic. Everyone who filled in the survey wanted to know how to deal with, not everyone wanted to know, but a lot of people wanted to know how to deal with pests organically. So I'm actually going to do a little series on this number for you because it's an important point and it's obviously something that is concerning a lot of you. So let's get down to it. How to get rid of pests and how to manage them organically in your garden. Okay, so when we're talking about pests, there's a lot of things that combine into forming your garden system that create a zone where it is abundant and it's low maintenance and you don't really have to worry about pests. But the way that that comes about is it's what Evan Pagan calls an emergent... It's an emergent property. It's an emergent property. So it's not as though we can just take um, one direct action and it's going to give you a pest free garden. An emergent property is when you have all these different things happening at once that create the conditions to make something bigger than just the results of those singular actions. So for example, if you want to have a great relationship with your partner, then it's not just about saying hey hot stuff, I love you, and saying it once. Um, it's, it's an ongoing process and it's something that builds over time and it brings, it has to have a whole bunch of different things that come together to create a healthy and equitable relationship. So it's the same way, in, to set, you, have to think the same, you have to think in the same way when you're talking about setting up a garden that's organic, it's abundant and it's managing its pests. It's not about just saying I'm going to take a magic pill or I'm going to spray this one thing and that's going to obliterate the problem. You actually have to come at it from a variety of different angles and create an environment that is pest free or where the pests are not a problem because I mean in reality there's not going to be an organic garden that is completely pest free but you, you want them to keep your eyes on the goal and the goal is for you to have enough food to eat and for your family to have enough food to eat. And if that's happening, then you're on a winning situation. So the first thing I want to talk about is the mindset about what is a pest. You know, so often I think we like to focus on, on the problem as humans. We just want to say, look, I, I'm not a very good gardener because I planted all of this bok choy and it was eaten by slugs. That's what happened to me when I first made my garden beds planted it, the system wasn't going um, smoothly yet, and I lost all of my seedlings of the bok choy to slugs over the course of about three nights. They just decimated it. And, um, you know, it's easy to get detached to those sort of results and think, I'm not a very good gardener, I can't do this, and um, an organics is just simply too hard. But I want to encourage you because if you persevere and start to put into place some of these uh, systems that we're going to cover over the course of the next couple of weeks, then you will find that you start to create an emergent property in your garden that, create, that creates a space where you have more abundance and less problem with pests. There's certainly things that you can do to uh, increase the probability and the likelihood of having um, more than enough food to go around and we're going to cover that in next week's session. So first of all for this week just remember that a pest free garden is pretty much a figment of your imagination but a pest managed garden is something that you can achieve and it is an emergent property. It's the result of a bunch of different things happening synergistically that creates an environment of um, for, for thriving, for your plants to thrive in. So thanks very much for tuning in. I'm Nicola Chatham. I can't wait to share with you some more tips about how to get rid of pests and how to manage them in your garden in the coming weeks. And if you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends. Send it around, I don't know, Facebook this week or 
click the tweet button if you're on Twitter. Um, some people will use delicious. I think you're, you're amazing and delicious. So click delicious. And if you haven't yet signed up for Sprout, come on over to NicolaChatham.com, pop in your name and email address and you can sign up for Sprout for free. And you'll get these little videos and these little how-to tips from me each week to help you get out in the garden and, and experience abundance growing your own organic food at home without too much work. So have a great week. I'm Nicola Chatham and I'll talk to you again soon.